so today we should have been in Cappadocia already enjoying the views horseback riding but instead we're still in Antalya because we got screwed. <laughs> Hello, my name is Alfredo and this is Off The Strip where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip or take you on one of my adventures. So our flight got delayed 12 hours so we're back in the city now we're just gonna explore. So we're in the old market and I'm seeing a lot of <laughs> name brand place, name brands that are obviously not real. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. Well, the old bazaar was a bus. <laughs> Nothing but fakes and no air conditioning. <laughs> so we're out. After a 14 hour delay in Antalya, we finally made it to Cappadocia. So here's the story. Our driver is waiting for us. It takes about 45 minutes, an hour or something like that to drive to the hotel. And then two hours after that, we've got a hot air balloon ride, hot air balloon ride to a horseback ride to a city tour and back to Antalya. So this two day trip has turned into a one day trip that we packed all the tours in. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a long day. Quick update on our Cappadocia tour. So, where do I start? Well, first <clears throat> we had an 8 a.m. tour. Um, we had an 8 a.m. flight from Antalya to Cappadocia yesterday morning. They delayed that from 8 a.m. to 8.30 p.m yesterday and they even delayed that even more to almost 10 p.m. <clears throat> so we didn't actually get in Cappadocia until about 12 30 uh, a.m. yesterday only to wake up to <clears throat> our hot air balloon being canceled because of the weather and it is a little bit windy. Um, we had a tour yesterday too that was also canceled but fortunately, our horseback riding tour that was canceled yesterday, they were willing to um, rebook it for this morning. Unfortunately, it was the same, it's the same time as our city tour, private city tour of Cappadocia. Um, so we had to pick one or the other. We chose horseback riding, but we're hoping our city tour, they'll just start at noon instead of 9 a.m. But this is our hotel, the hotel rooms at Ottoman Cave Suites in Cappadocia is highly recommended. Staff is super friendly, rooms are super cool. The property is just beautiful from the rooftop. Great, great views. This was the view from the rooftop of our hotel at about 5 a.m. So it's the first tour that has gone right in Cappadocia. We're gonna go ride horses. We are riding through the Gourmet Valley to get to our horses. This area has been inhabited for thousands of years. Horses have been super important to Cappadocia for centuries. The name Cappadocia actually means the land of beautiful horses. We are horseback riding Cappadocia. One of the coolest things you can do in Cappadocia is horseback riding through the Gourmet Valley because you're riding through a landscape that looks like it's straight out of a fantasy movie. The fairy chimneys are crazy rock formations that look like they were sculpted by giants. As we rode through the valley, we passed ancient cave dwellings carved into the rocks. People actually lived in these caves thousands of years ago. Here's a fun fact. Gourmet Valley is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, which means it's recognized as one of the most important cultural and natural places in the world. So here we are in Gourmet Cappadocia, horseback riding. Riding a horse in Cappadocia isn't just a fun activity, it's like stepping into the boots of the people who lived here thousands of years ago. Horses were a symbol of power and prestige. The region was famous for breeding some of the best horses in the ancient world. Even today, horseback riding is one of the best ways to explore Cappadocia. The trails are often too narrow for cars, so riding through on horseback gives you a closer look of the valley. Plus, it's a peaceful way to connect with the stunning landscape. So we're in 
Cappadocia, enjoying this beautiful horse ride through the valley. As we rode through Gourmet Valley, I started to think about how the hot air balloon ride was cancelled, and then I realized it wasn't just about the views from the hot air balloon, it was about experiencing Cappadocia the way people did thousands of years ago, and experiencing it the way it was meant to be explored. So this is Gourmet Valley. We decided to make our lives a lot easier by hiring a car with a driver and a guide. This was the best decision ever. Not only did we get a chance to relax and enjoy the views, but our guide told us some interesting facts, including Cappadocia was once the heart of the Hittite Empire, and those fairy chimneys, they're made out of volcanic ash that hardened over a million years ago. So we are in Pigeon Valley. So why is it called Pigeon Valley? Well, back in the day, people raised pigeons here for their poop. Yep, poop was a super valuable fertilizer. After exploring and horseback riding, we made a quick stop to refuel with a snack and some traditional Turkish coffee. Trust me, nothing beats a cup of strong, aromatic Turkish coffee after a long ride. It's like a mini energy boost in a tiny cup. So here we are at Imagination Valley in Gerome. Cappadocia, Turkey. Next, we visited Imagination Valley, where the rocks look like they're straight out of a cartoon. Some look like animals, while others look, well, they just looked weird. It's like playing a giant game of what do you see in the landscape? We wrapped up our day by visiting a pottery store that's been in this family for generations. Watching the potters at work was mesmerizing. They've been doing this literally for generations. Pottery is a huge deal in Cappadocia because the clay here is perfect for it. It's been a tradition for centuries and each piece tells a story. Plus, they make some beautiful plates and pots that you'll ever see at this store. Like all tourist traps, they all end in the shop, which of course, a few of us actually bought a few things. Cappadocia is like nowhere else on earth. From ancient caves to the fairy chimneys, it's a place where history and nature collide in the coolest way possible. And whether you're into history, nature, or just looking for a new adventure, Cappadocia has something magical for everyone. <laughs>